Hey, so we're going to start the floor plan in my 1978 Super Beetle. Uh, this floor pan, I took it off the body. So if you can kind of see the whole chassis here. I'm going to be using a, a grinder, a cutting wheel, and a sawzall with a metal blade. Um, I took the body off, so if you guys are following along, uh, working on this left side heater channel which is just primed and ready for the heater channel somewhat to go back in needs a little more uh, metal work but before I put that heater channel and I want to do this floor pan and I probably got to do this I think they call it a, um, a neopolin or something like that neopold so we're gonna do this frame I took off a lot of this uh, frame sealer this little black stuff just to see where the welds are at this is pretty chewed up really bad I'm gonna actually get down to it and take a look at it before I replace it so I'm gonna cut this off these bolts are pretty on there good I'm gonna wire wheel grind them off and see how good or bad this piece is I think it's pretty shot but if not I have a new one right there if I need to put a new one on um, I'm getting all my products from Wolf Bards West. So guys over there, thank you. This I'm going to clean up. I think this is all a little rusty, but the metal's real solid. I'll clean that up and refinish it. But I'm worried about this and the floor pan. And the other floor pan will be next. You can see that's really shot. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm grinding it off to see where the uh, spot welds were at. So using the grinder right there. And that then shows me where the spot welds are at. And what I can do with that is then use a drill, a small drill bit to drill those spot welds out. But what I want to do is try to save this, see how bad it is. Uh, so I'll film in a couple minutes. So I just got all the layers off this bolt, uh, getting down to kind of the frame support and you can see I cut it there. That's probably not good, but it's pretty rusted. It's all cancered there. I don't, I don't think I'm going to save this. Um, I'm going to replace it. The new ones right there, you see how nice that new one looks and how kind of shot this is. Cancer there, cancer there. So I doubt. I'm going to save this. I don't know yet. I might be able to cut it back. I doubt it. I mean, that's pretty shot up. So at this point, I'm thinking no, but we'll keep looking at it, keep buying it away at it. Since my goal is to replace the floor pan, but I got to get this out and I, I still want to save it, I'm going to cut it along here and start getting it out. Checking, checking back in. I'm getting this floor pan off. Instead of fighting with all the all the uh, press welds, spot welds, I'm just gonna cut it in just inside the lip. Again, I'm still still thinking to evaluate saving the, the this front support, but I don't know. So I'm just taking this saw, taking it along here, very, very carefully, cutting it out, and I'll do the same thing. And you can see the lip. The lip's probably about an inch along here so I'll cut a little more than an inch to get this out all right one second try mounting this so you guys can see how I'm cutting it so from the top here
so most of the front's out. You can see how wobbly it is. I'm gonna continue to cut kind of on the same seal right down the back. We're gonna get most of this pan out and then I'll clean it up. All right, so we cut off wheel, this left floor pan out. Again, trying to save the lip as much as possible. So next, I'm going to take all this old uh, frame rubber seam sealer out and then slowly grind out all the metal. One thing I hope I didn't mess up is under here. Uh, up under here. I hope that that didn't cut too much. But if I did, I'll just have to weld and repair it. And I don't like this corner here, but we'll work on that as well. That was all kind of welded together with some bad repairs from the prior owner. So we'll work on that as well. All right, so I took a wiring brush and wired down some of the rust along here. You can see another bad old repair. I'm gonna grind that out. So I'm gonna take the grinder and start grinding out some of these um, press welds spot welds and get this out cleaner. I'm also going to take some measurements so I know how far these are apart, this bolt and that bolt. So this is how I break the spot weld. I'm using this chisel, wiggling it under there and tapping it up and just break those spot welds. I did do a grinder, get a layer of metal off. Alright, so here here we are. The status of where we're at with the 78 Super Beetle. I cut the floor pan out. The floor pan is actually on the ground. Probably hard to see. Floor plans on the ground. That's the frame rail. So that's the frame rail. I uh, used a uh, pneumatic, an air chisel to get most of that off. And then I ground it down and I just uh, WD 40 it. Because I'm going to be done for about a week. Uh, so from the back side, what you can see here is the left side floor plan is removed and what I got to determine is if I'm going to save that other side uh, that Neapolitan that, uh, brace up there and also the left heater channels out and I got to do some metal work on that before I put it back in so I think I got all my measurements and Call it a night like this. So that's the status. That's where we're at with this seventy eight Super Beetle. Um, it's about I don't know how cold it is in the outside, 10, 12 degrees. I have a little space heater up there. And then I'm heating the place with, but it's freezing. You can see. But that's where I'm at with my 78 Super Beetle. What I got to determine is on the right side of that frame support. I think that's called a. Neopold or something like that. I'm gonna see if this is salvageable. I'll put the new one on that's up there. Then um, I'll do the left floor panel, floor pan. Then I'll clean up the upper heater channel. I'm gonna remount it, make sure the holes line up, but we are getting there.